OCP equals over current protection. It is a safety mechanism. This is a safety mechanism that's causing this problem. OPP over power protection. So these mechanisms are in place to prevent a fire hazard. They're to prevent electronics being destroyed um, due to too much current or too much voltage. Um, I guess over voltage protection is another one. OVP. I don't really. I never don't really hear of that one. But that could be another one. So we know that power equals voltage times current. So the wattage is equal to the volts times the amps. So we know that this is a safety mechanism that is actually causing this problem, most likely. And they enforce the limit. The manufacturer decides the limit. So in this case, they could have specified um, a current, well, realistically what this is and maybe I should express this in current because that's typically what it is not really the power but they might specify a limit of no more than 400 watts um, at uh, a duration of say 20 milliseconds they might enforce they might enforce a rule on the power supply meaning there is a circuit on the power supply that says if the power exceeds 40 watts in a time duration equal to 20 milliseconds of time so we're gonna call this 20 ms 20 milliseconds because remember the bottom one I drew out here is in milliseconds so if it exceeds, not only does it have to be over 400 watts, but it has to be longer than 20 milliseconds, which means if we, let's see what happens. So you start, you start up a game. Let's say you turn on Cyberpunk. The game's running. The game starts drawing power. But then you get into a combat scenario or you're walking around or you get in a car and it starts driving and driving. It like shoots up like that. Bam. Now it's over the rule. However, it goes back down and then it might be like that or it might be then it might be like this or whatever. So if it looks like this, because remember what I said, it must be over 400 watts and it is not or it is an and statement, so it means that both must be true. It has to exceed 20 milliseconds in duration. And because this spike was less than 20 milliseconds, it will not turn off the computer. The power supply will, will treat it as an exception, but it is within the tolerance of the power supply, so it will let it go. However, you start playing more, and then all of a sudden, there's another spike, but this time, that spike is something like that and then it goes you know whatever and it's like that now because this spike is longer it's wider than 20 milliseconds in a time domain this is going to cause the computer to turn off because it is over the line it is over the number 400 and it is longer than 20 milliseconds duration. That is going to trip over current, over voltage, over power protection. And that's what's going to turn it off. That's what's going to make it hang. Uh, that could be what's going on. Now, now, do I know what the actual limit is? No. Do I know what the actual spike is? No, because I don't have, I'm not Goss power. I didn't make it. Um, I don't actually know what the real numbers are. But I'm just trying to logically guess based off of understanding how overcurrent protection works. So that long duration above 400 watts, because th this might only be, you know, like up here, like up here, for instance, this might only be like 410. This might be 400, 
20. So it depends on the power supply. So, so typically, usually, um, the higher wattage the power supply, the more tolera tolerance it has for these type of power spikes. Um, but the problem is you don't really know. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a guessing game. It's the, the only thing I can tell you is you, you probably have to change your power supply. I know it's really annoying because, you know, that's going to be money to buy a new power supply. Um, the only other, the only temporary workaround for this is to basically frame cap all your games. Until you can swap out the power supply. Because you can't, you can't claim the power supply is defective. You can't, you can't like open a ticket with Corsair and have them RMA it because they're not gonna do anything. Like, even if they accept the RMA and they send you another one, the the the, the replacement is gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna be another Gauss Power 850, and it's gonna do the exact same thing. So, yeah, it. it but see, that's the thing. Like, this is the reason why I tell people when I do build videos, like. When, when you're going to build a high-end, like, for example, the 7900 XT is a high-end graphics card. It's pretty much an enthusiast tier graphics card. It's very expensive. Um, you would typically pair that up with a high-end computer. So a high-end graphics card begets a high-end everything else. High-end power supply. High-end CPU. High-end motherboard. High-end everything. Like... Think about it like this, right? Like, if, if someone was going to go buy a car, if someone was going to go buy a car, like, if someone was going to buy an expensive sports car, like a Corvette or a Nissan GTR or, you know, some some high-end sports car or some Italian exotic car, like a Ferrari, do you really think they're going to pair a high-end Ferrari with some cheap ghetto uh, fake leather pleather seats? Like, is that what they're going to put inside that car? Is it going to be, like, some ghetto uh, fake leather seats? You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything in that car is going to match. All of it's going to be, like, high-end stuff. Leather stitching. Perforated uh, everything. So it's, like, um, LED lighting. Every, like, ambient lighting inside. Heated seats. Cooled seats, etc. Sunroof, this. Everything. So that's what I'm saying, like... If you get a high-end graphics card, you you have to pair it up with like a high-end power supply. And the th the thing that I always tell people is the power supply. Think of the power supply as the heart of the computer. So yeah, an 850 could be enough. 850 could be enough, but it depends again on who is the manufacturer, because the manufacturer sets the limit for the protection feature. Some manufacturers understand that, you know, buyers are going to put high-end GPUs in their system, so they're going to make this more tolerant, meaning instead of the rule being, like, 420, like, this might be Gauss power, but, like, if we look at a different example, let's say, let's, let's use uh, a different guy as another example. So let's move these guys down here. So now let's look at like Corsair or let's look at uh, CWT. So uh, like I'm telling you right now, I am personally using a power supply made by CWT. And CWT has never done me wrong. Ever since I swapped from CSonic to CWT, uh, I can run 3090 Ti in Forspoken all day. I can run the XTX, the 7900 XT. I mean, you've seen my videos. It's like I'm not I'm not crashing while I'm streaming. In fact, while I'm live streaming, I'm using even more electricity while live streaming because the CPU is pegged higher in terms of utilization because of the stream, because having to constantly push stuff out to the internet via upload. All those packets are going through the network interface card on the motherboard. You know, there's way more stuff going on when you're live streaming in addition to playing the game. So I'm, I'm using CWT. I've been using them since like 2017. I mean, I've never had any problems. So CWT sets a limit as well. But their limit might be something completely different. Like, for example, if this was the limit for these guys, CWT might actually set the limit to... Uh, we're going to have to erase these numbers because these numbers don't apply anymore. Um, but their, their limit might be higher. 
like their limit might be say 700 watts and their duration might be 35 milliseconds time t did i delete my okay um move this i don't want to like redraw this thing so they might specify 35 milliseconds well actually i do need to redraw it because that's a larger duration or a longer duration right so so they have a longer range that the the that they'll accept the spike which means here's the difference so now 700 watts but the thing is 700 watts is so high up there their limit is like way up here somewhere so so now the spike would have to be so high it would have to exceed 700 watts which i can guarantee you the 7900 xc will not do that um so you'd have to you, you'd have to use like dual graphics cards to ever see that and crossfire and sli has been dead for a very very long time so uh, but you can see here like look with this power supply it's 35 milliseconds and see that that massive power spike fits within the width of the 35 milliseconds so it's not going to shut off and, and that assumes that it's going above a higher limit or whatever that upper limit is that cwt would set so so i'll i'll give you some examples so the so well, hold on my i can tell you right now the power supply in the description of my live stream video right now is a cwt power supply um and that is the power supply that i personally am streaming on right now like right this second i have an unboxing video i have an installation video um, on the channel um, but you don't have to get that one that one's gonna be really really expensive um, it's like a 300 something dollar power supply so but what I can recommend you is a CWT unit and you can choose like a 1000 watt CWT or maybe an 850 watt but the thing is as you go lower down the wattage like if you go to 850 um, then it becomes harder to determine if the power supply is, is made by CWT so CWT stands for a company called channel well technology channel well technology oh it's 500 dollars. well it was 300 something dollars when i got it from so i don't know it's yeah it's it's very hard to find because all the people who are buying 4090s and 4080s and 7900 xts um are buying up that power supply like I've talked to people at Micro Center that get them, and the sales guys tell me like those power supplies never stay in stock. They're they they get like five of them in, and then they're all gone within that one day. So it's like it's gonna be a problem to get a power supply. Power supplies are gonna be a problem. I'm um, just like with graphics cards, like hunting down an actual good power supply. Because see, the problem is these are the sort of things that only people in the know know about. So so it's like. It's no surprise that the power, that the price on that unit is way high up there now. Um, but anyway, what I'll tell you is that there's another brand you can look into. Um, but if you if you just want to copy me, that's totally fine. Like I can I can I trust CWT. So if you want to go with CWT, that's totally fine. It's it's great. Um, I've never had any problems. So, but the other brand that I will mention because if it is too hard to find a CWT unit at a decent price. You might want to look for Super Flower. Super Flower is like the rival. These are the two, like these are the two like secret brands, secret OEMs that make all the really, really good power supplies that have these long duration, um, high tolerance, um, uh, OCP, OC, OPP, o whatever, OVP, over voltage. Like these are the these are the two these are the ones like the, these are the ones that that do the thing you know like so that's in the no stuff right there so uh, I'll tell you another one like uh, who's the other one uh, chickeny if they're still around chickeny I forget how to spell them uh, they're like another one Cor they used to make Corsairs RM850s years ago like the first generation. 
Do you think warranty is important? XPG, sales PSUs with 10-year warranty. Uh, the warranty is important, but I think the OEM matters the most. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm telling you. It's it's a thing. It's a thing. Like power supplies, people who are in the know are gonna buy up all the really really good ones. Um, but okay, I'll give you some OEM brand, or I'll give you some reseller brand names. So, Channelwell Technology is typically found in Corsair high end power supplies. Um, that's typically the most common one. You will also find them in MSI's brand new uh, power supplies, like the one in, in my video description, for instance. Um, so the MSI Meg and the MSI MPG with the ATX 3.0 units, those are going to be channel well technology. Um, if we talk about Superflower, so Superflower is another one. Like Superflower is interesting because you can actually buy a Superflower branded power supply. Like it literally says Superflower on the box. Um, but they're rare. Typically, if you're looking for Superflower, the most common brand name is none other than the beloved EVGA. EVGA high-end power supplies are typically Superflower power supplies. Um, so that's the thing that's more info. This is like secret knowledge. These are like trade secrets that I'm just kind of giving away here. Um, so if you guys like this content, definitely like the video so we can spread the word on these sort of things. Because these are the sort of things that you're never going to find from like your average big YouTube channel. They're never going to talk about stuff like this in this sort of detail. Um, but yeah, it it's a thing like you want to get a good power supply because... I mean, I've had my Corsair HX1200 for years, and I've never had any of these problems.